Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can use Trey AI. In order to do so, here we are at Trey.ai, and that's T R A E.ai. And in order to proceed with Trey, you will need to download it. So if you come here to the uh, main uh, page, you will see that you can download Trey. We can click here where it says see all download options. So you can see for yourself that we can get it for Mac and we can get it for Windows. So let's go ahead and we're going to download this for Windows. And that's already done. Still thinking about it. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and give that a click and we're going to t go through the steps here. And you might want to take a closer look at exactly what it is that uh, you're selecting there, but we're just going to get through this as quickly as possible. So now we're installing tray. Okay. And that's all done. So we're going to go ahead and finish that up and we're going to launch tray. Just give it a moment here. Okay, and we're ready to get started with Trey. So we're gonna go ahead and just go through the steps here. And we're gonna stick with that dark theme. Okay, so uh, it's allowing us here to import our settings from VS Code or Cursor, which is quite nice, but we're gonna go ahead and skip that. And start using the command tray in terminal and install tray command. Now, let's go ahead and find out using CIDR AI exactly what does it mean to use the command uh, tray in the terminal. So we're going to go ahead and open up CIDR AI. CIDR is a fantastic extension for your Chrome browser that allows you to ask questions of AI at any given time. So that's not what we're looking for. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, so we are asking our question here. What does it mean? Start using the command tray in terminal when installing tray. So we're going to go ahead and ask CIDR here. And here we have our answer. When you see the instructions start using the command tray and terminal during installation, it means the installation has set up a program named tray. You can now open the terminal and type tray and press enter to run or use that program. Okay, I see. So we can open up the command line interface on our computer and type tray to immediately run or use that program. So that is a little bit of convenience there. Okay, so that's quite nice to know. So we'll go ahead and um, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just skip that for now. I think I'm fine with just opening that up the uh, normal way, I guess. Okay, so we're ready to go to enhance your experience. Please log in to access the AI features. All right, we're going to go ahead and log in. We're going to go ahead and log in with Google. Keep things simple. Oh no. Okay, so it's giving us a little bit of trouble here for logging in. Now it's possible that we need to sign up first. Maybe that's what the issue is. So let's go ahead and try that. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's try again with Google. See what happens. Could just be okay. Ah, unfortunately, Trey is currently available in certain countries or regions. So we'll send you an email when there's an update. So that's good to know. So if you are looking to use Trey, you can follow this same process that we went through, but it is only going to be available in certain countries and regions. And I'm assuming that's why we were, na were not able to log in. Now, I was able to install it and um, we can uh, definitely try to use it, but we will... Uh, quite possibly be blocked here from um, making any uh, advancements here with Trey. So let's go ahead and try something out here. 
Okay, so because it does appear that Trey is unavailable in my area, that uh, essentially will give you some sense of what you can expect when getting started with Trey, how to install it. Um, but you will need to confirm that you're in the right location because otherwise you're not going to be able to log in. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. And don't forget to set your notifications for more helpful tips. Also, if you're interested in taking advantage of Cider AI, take a look at the link in the description. There you'll find a link to our link tree. There you'll find our socials and our top AI recommendations. Click on any of those links to get started. You'd be helping us out as well, and we would greatly appreciate it.